And by the way, Quadfather, I wasn't inebriated. I only had four of these little beers and a fucking, a Mike's hard fucking lemonade. I was not inebriated. If I can't, I can go through 20 of these. Easy. Easy. So fuck off with that. I was inebriated. And I, you know, I'm going to send Stevie Lou. If Stevie Lou wants to come on and tell his side, that's fine with me. All right? He probably won't. But I do the show because I'm a man of my word. And what happens? They literally troll me. And then you get the shit way because the shit way, uh, like every show that I'm on, He's got to interject himself. And you know why, folks? Because he's broke. I have it from a reliable source. The shit wayer couldn't even afford to fly to Ronnie Munn's wedding. And Ronnie Munn was overheard saying, why didn't he just tell me I would have flew him out? That's why the shit way didn't go to Ronnie's wedding. Because the shit network ain't doing so well. Is it? Shit way, nobody wants you. You're not famous. You didn't do anything. I made people laugh on a regular basis for 30 years. You have not. You're not funny. Get it through that thick skull of yours. You're a horrible stand-up. You're a coward who wouldn't fight the bagel boss. You weighed people's shit and your wife. What the fuck is she up to? And don't even fucking, don't even think. Don't start telling me I can't say anything about your wife because you were holding up a picture of my kid, weren't you? Yeah, I remember. That's right. Hey, what's good for the goose is good for the gander, right? Is this really you, Stevie? Stevie, don't troll me. Never trolling, John. So now you Always. call Brennan, you call your daddy, and he's and he tells you. Well, how dumb was that, Steve? I mean, I like you, and you know I like you. I didn't get mad until the next morning because the next morning I started watching it. And then I saw you. Oh, I, 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 I talked to John. He did mo he, he did all the talking. I didn't have, and I'm like, whoa. I didn't realize I said that until you called me out on it. And then I went back and listened. And yes, I did say that. I was just talking shit, John. That wasn't like a serious jab at you. And I was also drunk as shit. You were a little little tipsy last night. I had four of these beers. Stevie, I, I have okay. four. Okay. And then one Mike's Hard Lemonade. You guys like to think I was inebriated. I don't know why. After the show, I had about, about another 10. This isn't a work. I was mad. Because I was just like, you left me there with these idiots for like... What, like, how many times did you leave the show? Be honest, two or three times? Well, like, and we spoke off air, and I appreciate you re respecting that line. I did take a phone call from my mom. The one thing that I do have a problem is, why didn't you just tell me these guys hated me? Like, why didn't you let me come into a fucking, you know, like, you or you let me come into a room. It, it, like, it's like me booking you for a stand-up gig, and all the people... Only speak Chinese. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, that happens so here, to me, by the way. So, oh, man. Um, so why did you just tell me these guys hate me? And I would have been like, all right, I know how to handle that. I'll be super sweet. And But though, but that fucking Lemmy is as cold as ice, that chick. She's a fucking k k bitch. Okay, well, let me start at the end. Uh, right. la last night, I quit the BYB podcast so I'm, I'm no longer a part of the byb podcast it wasn't just 
what happened with you, but that obviously was part of it. Uh, behind the scenes, before the episode started, Lemmy messaged the group, and she was like, listen, I don't like John. I want this to be very clear as I don't like John. She said that behind the scenes, and I honestly said, all right, guys, you know what? I'm just going to cancel this show. You know, I can show you that. I can prove that, that I I said to everybody, guys, you know what? This is not looking good for – I could smell it. I tried to talk to him, and I even called Derek on the phone, and I had a very specific discussion with Derek about Shuli. I said this, and I'll stand by this. There was no mix of words here. I said, I know how this works. Shuli's going to get the link. Whether yep. you send it to him or someone sends it to him, we got too many fucking loose lips on this ship. It's going to get to him. When it does, do not allow him to come on because it's just going to completely tank our show. He's going to try to hijack it like it's goddamn 9 11, you know? So I didn't want that. You know, I didn't want to have you triggered then after already having you fucking de- dealing with these triggering effects. So, being straight up with you, man, I didn't want that to go down that way. I thought, I, you know, I'm an optimist. That's my problem. I'm an optimist to a fault. So am I. You know, and I Death thought is that, always you know, best full of my book. Yeah. And, and you know what? I will say this, too, is that obviously you do, and I don't expect you to ever know what BYB is and what we do. But in the past, that's kind of what BYB is known for. When Ray DeVito had a problem with Gino, we brought Ray on. And without Ray knowing, we brought Gino right on. And it was like a moment. And I said to the guys, I said, even though we've done this in the past, this night with John is not the time for that. I was like, you know what I said? I was like, wait till he comes on the second time. And then maybe we could talk about fucking with him. That's literally what I said, John, just to be straight up with you. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to sit here like I'm a fucking glad hander nonstop with you. We do have to have fun sometimes at the risk of upsetting people. But I didn't think the way that it went down was appropriate and maybe call it out that these folks I'm working with don't have as much experience as I do and I don't have as much well, experience you know as you what? do. You know? Well, the, the one correct thing Kate said is you're too nice for them. And you are. And and that's what I thought. Like, because I'm I'm sitting there going, why is Stevie with these idiots? Like, they, like I mean, Brandon, he was just like, you have this cow guy who obviously hates me too. And then the fucking Don Corleone and the fucking, <laughs> you know, thinking he's backstage at the Riviera and fucking yeah. the 1960s the, the with the Rat Pack, sitting there like he owns the fucking world. And they're all, like, I can tell they all hate me. That's why I just came out, I came out shooting. Because I was yeah. just like, okay, you know, Steve, you're a comic. I'm a comic for 25 years. Uh. I, <laughs> I, I could feel the room, Stevie. Yeah. Yeah. I saw that Lemmy hated me. From get- I tried to be nice at first, saying you look pretty, you know, you look pretty, you look like my sister-in-law. I tried to be nice, but she was she wasn't having any of it. Yeah. Why does she hate me so much? You know, like maybe it's her time of the month. I think every day is her time of the month. <laughs> Fucking, and then the quad. I, he invites Shuli, right? It was him that invited him. No, I'm gonna. Break down the fourth wall. Um, and I'll give actually Quadfather uh, a bit of respect here on the point that I called him on the phone because I wanted to make sure there was no miscommunication on this one. I said, Julie's going to get the link no matter what we do. Don't let him come on. Don't let him ruin the show. Julie got, Julie contacted the, oh no, I'm sorry. Quadfather did contact Shuli before the show and said, are there any questions you want me to ask John for you? And Shuli said, no, just send me the link. And Quad said, no, I'm not going to send you the link. Now fast forward to our show. The cow. Granny was the one we we, we came to find. that, he, and, and he's also, see, he, he drank, he was the one drinking 12, 13 beers last night. So he gets drunk and he does dumb shit. 